What's up guys? This is Willie. Matt's filming for me. Welcome back to another Three Pedal Devils video. Today we're going to do a little bit of a teardown and see what the inside of this Acura RSX Type S hydraulic power steering rack looks like. Let's bring it over to the bench and get into it. First thing I'm going to do is pull these lines off because they're just annoying, not interesting, and in the way. I think this one's out, I'm just turning it for fun now. It definitely is out. Just go down there. You go over here. All right, that worked out good. Now I'm gonna get these out somehow. There's like a zero percent chance I get these out. Well, that was a fun tear down, guys. We'll just heat them until they fall off. Let's do fire. Mm. Ah, yeah, that's nice. New plan, we're not taking those off. Sweet. All right, let's take this part off. Probably got a bearing pressed on or something. That was the teardown. We're done here. This part spins, so we learned a lot today. They're gonna hold on to this ledge so well, see? It's not on there at all. Oh, you just got in the shot. What shot? This shot. It's not filming you. It was gonna be so much cooler. I was gonna use my little mini saw and cut a groove in here. That looks kind of sweet again. Oh, NTN bearing, what's up? That's the homies. You can tell that's a ball bearing because of the way it is. <laughs> Look at this. This is an aspen. You can tell that it's an aspen tree because of the way it is. Making a hard left turn. <laughs> Actually, this would be making a right turn, wouldn't it? No idea. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. I can't see what you're doing. I'm moving the rack. Oh, it sounds it's nice. juicing, making juicing noises. But yeah, there you go. This is the part I was struggling to get out that Matt got out for me. But it looks like the driving piece is a really long helical gear type deal. It's got a nice spiral to it. That drives the rack down in there. Yeah, see that little guy? Oh, there's a little drawn cup needle roller bearing down there in the nose too. Let's take this boot off and see what's going on under there. We're gonna burn it because it's PP. That's actually kind of interesting. They got the recycling material code here and it says it's PP plus EPDM. So polypropylene mixed with, I don't know what EPDM stands for. No one does. No. It's just EPDM. Electro polishing discharge machine. Holy f that sounds like a sex robot. Let's uh, flip this guy over. This is in the way. Come on, come on. Oh, you were spraying at me. I'm sorry, daddy. There's a little lip here. I'm just trying to get it forward over the lip. <laughs> this is how they take it off in the shop, actually. Exactly how they do it. And then they reuse them. That's a, that's a reusable belt clamp right there. Yeah, this video is interesting because I was planning to teach you guys some stuff and I realized I don't even know shit about power steering racks. <laughs> so now we're just learning instead. It would have been really cool if I got these off so I could not have them in my way. We got any dikes in here? I know it's Lesbian Awareness Month. <laughs> got safety first when you're cutting rubber with dikes. Oh, I'm back driving the... Ah! 
Wow, she started pissing. Damn. I think you're supposed to take these off. No sh Come on. Come on. Oh, sh Again. Don't do that. She's a squirter, this one. Where the hammer at? What's up? We're back. That thing was in my way, so I couldn't really get a wrench on it, so I just grabbed them both with my bare hands and pulled it off. It was nothing really when you're this strong. New plan, we're not taking those off. Uh, just, really? just kidding, Matt actually used the wrench and got them both off. So now we can zip those off with the impact and get this annoying stuff out of the way. Meanwhile, I was cutting the boot off of the tie rod. So if you ever have heard that you need to replace your inner tie rod, that's what that joint looks like. It's just a little ball inside of a socket. Remember when I machined one of these? Oh, really? I'll put a picture. I designed and machined one that had like an offset for the electric power steering rack conversion. Mounted the, the center like up here. Oh, I do remember that. Ooh, let's look at the slider. Whoa, the slider is actually plastic. Well, I guess the part that connects them is plastic, but the, yeah, that thing would have been taking all the load because of the bolts going through it. That's kind of wicked though. Let's. Pull this off, we probably can pull that whole rod out the end, right? <laughs> Look at it. What this does is it resurfaces your steering rack. So when your rack starts getting a little sloppy, you just do this and it kind of acts like a lathe. We just zipped this out with the impact. Had a little die spring in there, some grease, this little washer. And that's it, but it looks like it's a little piston or something. Oh. Whoa, that's what I was spinning against. It doesn't feel great anymore. This part's like brass or bronze. A little slider bushing. Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to be spinning, but we spun it. <laughs> Wow, this went from a teardown to a f up video real fast. Aww. Here, put your fingers in here like that to hold it while I impact it off. Holy f Did you get that? Yeah. We're back. We keep missing it because my hands are covered in the gooey gooey, so I don't want to touch the Osmo pocket, but... Matt keeps doing all the hard stuff. He just got the, there was a huge snap ring in here. Where is it? Oh yeah, right there. That guy was in here holding this thing in the end. But before we try to take that out, I'm gonna undo this nut while we have something to take to torque. Oh! I'm gonna break my hand, I think. Whoa, whoa, what the f is that? That's a plug. That's the goofiest, oh! That's the goofiest plug I've ever seen. We got a plug with a nut with a hole. <laughs> I'm gonna take this off. It's gonna do big juicing though because there's a lot of pressure built up in there. Oh, here's one. Whoa! Almost killed you. Again. Nice. See, this thing fits so good, it's locked on. Do it like a man. Well, we just popped her out. Good old slide hammer with, uh, what is that, a blind bearing puller? Yeah. In the threads. You can see a little dynamic shaft seal with the spring in there. It's pretty nice. 
I grabbed this off camera after I heated it with a map torch for like five minutes and then I did the Lion King. It was all All right, let's take this thing out. It's a good walking stick. I'm gonna bring this hiking. Just like that, walking through the forest. Show, show us how the sounding rod works with that grinder wheel. Okay, yep, yep, yep. So, we'll just put it like that. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Should we use the press to try to take the shaft out of that housing? Oh, we must have missed a snap ring or something. That's so much force. It doesn't, it's super. It's, it's going out now? Yeah. Okay, yeah, must have popped. All right, well, Matt told me how this works now because I got it backwards. This part was up through there like that. Oh, it goes back on so much easier when you put it the right way. Yeah. <laughs> that guy was up there like that, popped it out. I lost a piece. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Set that aside for now. But these parts were buried down in the end here. Uh, spring back U cup shaft seal yep. was like this on top of this cylindrical bearing, which is actually pretty interesting. Yeah, the housing on this thing's weird. It's like super cheap feeling drawn cup style. And it's very thin as you can see compared to the size. It also has no cage, like there's just cylindrical rollers in there. I can't, they're all like stacked edge to edge. There's no space. I think they call these full complement bearings, but I can't exactly remember. Then this part, I'll wash my hands so Matt can show you, but it's pretty sweet. All right, so obviously you guys watched us press this out, and then this is what the um, shaft looked like and we were pretty surprised to find all these different little channels. You know, these different openings are different flow path passages for um, oil to move. I don't really know what any of them are for or how it works, but it's still kind of cool. So then, yeah, I took, a snap, I took a snap ring off and I was able to pull this entire manifold piece off to reveal the under part, the bottom side. And then on the inside, and I don't know what else to say. We didn't figure out how the hydraulics work because we didn't have the pump in. We cut off the lines pretty early, so we can't actually see how it works, unfortunately. Like and subscribe. There you have it. That's the intercomponents of an 04 Acura RSX Type S power steering rack. Pretty cool stuff. This is why cars are so expensive. Yeah, because it's not just, you're not just buying a rack, you're buying the 40 parts that go into making it and the process to making each part and the process to assemble them and inspect them. It's pretty complicated, but that was a fun way to send off this rack instead of just throwing it in the dumpster, so hope you enjoyed it. Bye, Mom. Where'd it go? It's gonna burn something. <laughs>